Hello, Steve White, Steve White, Say No, and I'm continuing on through my gay movie marathon, um, going through 80s, so, not 80s, 90s and noughties um, gay films. There really weren't any 80s gay films. Um, and now I'm up to the film Lucky Bastard. Now, this film is um, kind of weird. It um, I found myself kind of yelling at the screen a lot, because one of the characters was so um, unbelievably... Um, stupid I don't know how they were trying to play this character if he was um meant to just be naive but he basically and they don't really explain either there's, there's a couple starts off with this couple in bed once leaving for the day and you realize that this guy's living in a hotel which I don't really understand why um, he's got this partner that is distant from him and um, not happy with him I don't really, I don't, didn't really get why, and he ends up meeting this guy at um, a convenience store, goes home with him, falls in love with him, the guy ends up being a junkie, um, and I don't know if I should use that term, but um, he's addicted to, but he's a stereo, stereotypical junkie in that sense, um, it's not particularly portrayed um, in any, you know, um, progressive way, and you just see him doing things, and you just know where this is going, like he's, He's like, oh, you know, I love you, you're the best, well, let's do this, let's do that, we should do all this stuff together. And it's like, oh, but I need you to lend me $100 so I can buy some meth so I can do all this with you because I can't be hot without this, I can't be sexy without this, I can't take your without it and, and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, every time he spoke, I'm like, uh, what, are you stupid? Why are you listening to this? Why are you hearing this? Why are you, what, like, like this character, as gorgeous as the main, act, the main sort of actor is and as cute as he is, he kind of, Actually, looks like a guy I knew in college, um, combined with like Superman in some way, um, um, like Henry Cavill, but younger and cuter. Um, not quite as masculine, but um, yeah, he just he just does all these stupid things. Like he does buy him the meth, and they do go to a club, and of course he's running around with other guys. He's like, oh, but I really just want to be with you. It doesn't mean anything, you know. I'm like, now you bought me a drugs, so and I can go party. It's, like, it's just like really. How, how, I don't, I didn't believe this character. I didn't believe he could be this stupid. I don't believe anyone could be that stupid. And I just found it really frustrating. And I was constantly saying, speaking to this character, saying, why are you doing this? Why, he's a junkie. That's why he's doing this. He needs drug. That's why he's doing it. He's an addict. That's why he's doing this. Can you not, it's just, I'm like, were they trying to explain to people who don't know anything about junkies or drug, drug addicts or addiction, how it works and how these people manipulate people and work people and, through all that, they do sort of show on some level that he is in love with this guy and he does want to be loved, but he's just, you know, an addict and he can't get himself together. He doesn't get himself together. They end up parting their ways and he ends up getting back with um, the guy at the start of the film and promising whatever he wasn't giving. I, I still wasn't sure exactly why they weren't working, why he wasn't able to commit or connect to him. Um, it wasn't really clear. I don't know if I tuned out because I was so annoyed by the character or if they just didn't really explain it properly. But um, the film looks very cheap. It looks has that sort of grainy sort of brown sort of sort of colour like it was filmed on film but wasn't, you know, um, taken care of or I don't know. It looks really cheap and nasty. Um, most of it takes place in, um, you know, hotels and clubs and um, yeah, it's just, it's, the, the the really cute main actor almost, almost redeems it because he's just so cute to look at, but um, his character is so, I don't know, what, is he naive, is he stupid, is he in denial, is he lost, I, I just don't, I don't quite know what he was meant to be, but he was just really frustrating. But um, I'm going to go, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, if you've seen this film, what you think of it, um, I think the Wikipedia has it. Basically, it didn't, didn't really get a release. I don't think it really made any money or anything. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing a lot about it on here. The production... Yeah, it's just a little independent film. Um, got a little bit of criticism. Sort of fairly divided, and I can understand why. Um, yeah. I don't think it went direct to DVD. I, I can't really see if it got... I don't really think it really got a release. I think it just did the film festival, you know, circuit, and that's about it. But I'm um, nearly up to five minutes. I should stop talking. 
um, yeah, I had a really strong reaction to the film, but it wasn't positive. But um, I guess at least on some levels provoking, but I don't know if it did it out of being badly written and, and, and incompetence or whether it was meant to do that and meant to sort of, you know, show things that way. I'm really not sure, but I'm going to go. Bye.